Hello, my name is Wong Kitson and this week's topic is social media analytics and I will be focusing on the Barclays Ping It case study for this week's uh, topic. So what is Barclays? Barclays is a British multinational banking and financial service company headquartered in London which started in the year 1690. This makes them one of the oldest famous banks in the world. It has operations in retail, wholesale and personal banking, corporate banking, investment management, wealth management, mortgage lending, and credit cards worldwide. They spread over 50 countries and territories and is well known all around the globe. So in the year 2012, they launched this money transfer app called Pingit, which was used to send and receive payments online. Upon this launch, Pingit received some negative and also positive feedback. So Pingit then transformed and became the first money sending service in Europe to allow account holders to use their phones for sending and receiving cash. They were ahead of the game and enjoyed widespread downloads from customers. So what did Pingit do? Well, um, Pingit is under Barclays. So Barclays underwear social listening. The launch created a lot of social buzz that acted as real-time feedback from users. So Barclays looked at the social, sen social media sentiment online, utilizing sentiment metrics similar to Social Studio to observe customer behavior towards the app. So what is social listening? Social listening represents the act of observing and analyzing social media conversation as a way to understand what customers are saying and talking about the brand. So while utilizing the keyword ping it on the sentiments matrix similar to Social Studio, Barclays found out some negative sentiment in regards to their app. So although it wasn't a lot, they managed to pinpoint what caused the problem and negative attitude towards the app and make a solution towards it. So across social media platforms such as Twitter, there were many mentions of ping it. Many mentions that the app didn't work for people or children under 18 years old. So this simply means that parents couldn't transfer money to them. So from this data, Ping It then modified the app and allowed 16-year-olds and above to use it for money transfer so the parents do not have to worry. In the end, solving their problem and Ping It becoming more successful. So although there were few negative feedback, Barclays Ping It received a lot of good feedback from the, of the app as well. So there were a lot of positive comments uh, with that surrounded the option of being able to check the balance on the app. Although it was meant to be a side feature for this app, it was found to be very popular. So Barclays Pingit then took this feedback using the sentiment metric and made new apps specifically for this purpose to obviously attract new customers and make them happier. So what does this say about Barclays and how does this apply to PR planning? So to me, this is the ideal demonstration of utilizing social media monitoring and social listening, analyzing bad feedback and turning them into positive outcomes and analyzing good feedback and turning it into the unique point. That's what Barclays did. They solved what their weak point was and they improved their strong point which made, made them even better. So in social listening, companies are able to pinpoint problems Look at what people are saying about their competitors and most importantly, your own company. With just a click of, with just a use of a keyword, Barclays kept their app running smoothly as they plan to listen to app users' feedback online prior to their launch. That's why they're so successful now. So using the social media funnel, um, Barclays used three types of measures. Firstly, is to mention, is to measure attention and exposure which means which they observe how much uh, ping it reached across Twitter and how many mentions they had across the country. Also, they, mani they managed to measure the sentiment and engagement, which means to see the social mentions, see the good and bad comments, the overall mood and perspective towards uh, ping it. And lastly, measure respect influence to see the favorites, likes, good and good feedback on the app, which Barclays had a lot. So under this rule of three uh, in social media analytics, publish, engage, and analyze. So firstly in publish, Barclays launched their app, Ping It, allowing people to use and test it. Uh, secondly, uh, in the second stage, in, is engage. 
they allowed online community to provide feedback on the app utilizing social media such as Twitter, uh, using moderators to listen and reply to their feedbacks, making them happier. And lastly, under Analyze, they monitored the discussions and sentiments regarding Ping It through Sentiment Matrix, analyzing the data and finding the problem and solving it with a solution. That's all for this week's topic and case study. I hope you all had a good time listening to me. Thank you and have a great day.